Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be taking a look on how to jailbreak the iPad uh, firmware 3.2.2. So if you want to check out what firmware you're on on the iPad, obviously you're going to want to go into your settings here, and then go into the about right here at the top. Sorry, it's kind of slanted there. And you should be able to scroll down right here, and I'll say your version number, which obviously you can see mine is 3.2.2. Alright, so with that set now, you're going to want to go on your Windows and or Mac, whatever uh, you know, machine you're going to be using for the jailbreak, as you can see in the background. I'm on a Windows machine, and we're going to be using the same tool we use to jailbreak the iPhone, which is Lime Rain. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that there. Lime Rain, simple as that. All you have to do is click the Make It Rain button, and everything should run. So let me accentuate this here real quick. Alright, so um, you want to make sure your iTunes is open and you've backed up just in case. And you should hit the Make It Rain button. Now wait for the device. Now enter recovery. As you can see here, you'll hear the noise of the disconnecting. You want to make sure, obviously, your sync cable is connected. It'll run through this screen right here. Just give it a second. It'll install some device drivers. And again, at no time, do not disconnect your syncing cable. Leave that plugged in. So just let it enter recovery mode. You have to wait a couple seconds here. And this works for uh, the previous firmware as well as 3.2.1, etc. So we're going to let that run. And that's just to hold home and power. So this kind of just like the same with your I or iPhone when you go into DFU mode. So at this point, I'm holding the home and power button. Release the power button, so continue to hold the home button. And. These instructions are all running through your, I know you can't see anything in the video right now, but they're all running through uh, the actual Lime Rain client over here. So you see it gives you instructions if you haven't seen the iPhone video before. So it's in DFU mode now. It's going to tell you to wait. Really, at this point, you can go ahead and take off the home button. And your iPhone will do this thing again, and we'll get the jailbreak icon. And as simple as that. And we're just going to wait for it to run here. And you're done. And make sure uh, when you run the actual Lime Rain program, I'll leave the link to uh, download the jailbreaking tool in the video description that you run it as administrator. Um, it's available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. So that the iPhone should reboot. I have to give it a couple seconds here. Or the iPad, I should say, should reboot. And it's jailbroke. It should be jailbroken at least. So we have to give it a couple seconds here. All right. So now it's turning back on. Sorry, it's kind of dark in the video. Guys, I had to get the focus for the iPad. You'll see the Apple logo. And you have to wait a couple seconds, and you should see a Cydia icon on your uh, iPad home screen. If not, usually they say to uh, reset or restart the iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and slide to unlock. Surely enough, the Lime Rain icon is right there. Oh, sorry, you'll see a Lime Rain icon. Click that Lime Rain icon, uh, and at the top here, it'll say Cydia. So just select the package that you want to install. I check Cydia. I know you guys can't see the screen. Fully right there because the iPad screen is pretty big. If you just hit install, it will begin to download Cydia. We'll wait for that. You can see there downloading Cydia. And that will run, you know, depending on your connection. And is it going there? And then it's going to have to get all the resources and everything like that. But that basically is it. After that, you can uninstall Lime Rain. You can see that little button right behind it after Cydia is done installing. And you can go ahead and get your repositories for your, iP or your iPad. I keep on saying iPhone. And that's it, and that's all you need to do to jailbreak your iPad. Uh, this is a version, uh, firmware, I should say, 3.2.2, but this should work for 3.2.1 and I believe 3.0. Uh, the same Lime Rain program also works for your iPhone 4 if you're on uh, firmware 4.1 so or 4.0. So those are your jailbreak options and all in one program. Lime Rain, I'll leave the link in the video description below. And uh, so my city is about to get done here. And with that, I'm going to end the video, guys. Don't forget to check out our website for more tips at digitaldojos.com. And if you have any questions, feedback, or email, email us at digitaldojos at gmail.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next video.